afraid. I would so go. Back in the Stone Age when I used to do judo, we would come up and we would get grips and then we would go. But yeah. there's been huge changes in judo in the last 20 years, and Kathy here has you know been part of that change. Mm -hmm. um, you guys don't just conceive the grips anymore. No, and a lot of nowadays judo is kumikata, grip, and grip, grip breaking, yeah. yeah, grip fighting, and grip breaking. And you'll see people playing to the strategy at the high level IJF judo tournaments. So one simple grip break, when somebody grabs here, I always like, because in judo it's not legal to just hammer on the forearm to break the grip. So we... Or, or I mean in jiu-jitsu the standard is two hands. Yeah. And that's Depending on well, subjective referees, they if you attack right away, you can you can break, 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 but depending on the ref, they're gonna call you. So what I like to do is just simple, almost pistol grip, but you know really capture that wrist and simply pull away. Boom. The other way, same thing, except you grab your own lapel and rip it away. Okay. Let's just show us people yeah. here. So you just this is fairly tight here. Yeah, is it a it's not pistol quite grip a pistol or? grip, but just a capturing of the wrist. Right, so that's yeah. pretty tight on my You can wrist. still do it here, but you got a bit of play. Right. You know, so I like to grab down here and just really capture it. So when it's there, you can either, I usually, from here, take a step back and rip it off. Or and you're also grab, posturing up. posturing up. Or grab your own lapel, taking a step back and oh. ripping it away. There's no way you can hold it. Hold on no. as tight as you possibly can. If I grab my own lapel <clears throat> and rip it away, I've got this secured. That's a perfect grip break. So and from there, back, you could lead in at whatever attack yeah, you Yeah, and then you go in for an attack. So in judo, a lot of times now we're penalized for lack of attack. So we have to be attacking constantly. As soon as we do a grip break, we have to attack. As soon as we grab a grip, we have to attack. And they're penalizing a lot for not attacking now. So it's all about the attacks. So what might that attack look like? So if you were here, and I grip break, I would... So no. 